They were dominant, but it sure. wasn't easy to, to break uh, Hungary down. How worried will they be, Craig, coming out of that? Who? Portugal, given the fact that uh, it took them 84 minutes well, to finally no, get on the board. Sometimes in these games, when there's such a disparity between the teams, uh, it's difficult. It's a bit like playing against a team that goes down to 10 men when they're sending off and then decides it's just going to defend for the rest of the game. Sometimes, but not all the times, that can be really difficult to break down. Mm -hmm. And it's the first game of the competition, so there's a bit of ring rust there. So, I, I, yeah, I mean, it wasn't a brilliant, brilliant Portuguese performance, but... The only worry, the only not worry. Not too many have been under... Some of the Fernando Santos... That's, that's the, the knock coming into the tournament, right? Yeah. you got all this talent and but it's not, not dangerous. The only no, worry was how quiet Bruno Fernandes and mm. Bernardo Silva were. Fernandes had some moments in the second half, yeah? Not enough for you? Not enough for me, no. Yeah. No. Based on what we see in the Premier League. I mean, yeah, he's, yeah, he's that type of player, but when he pulls a, the national shirt on, he, he doesn't pull up any trees. And when he plays hmm. in England in the very biggest of games, he tends to get lost a little bit. Do you think that's on him believe. or how they're playing? No, I think that's on him. I think really? he needs to step up a little bit, even though his numbers in the Premier League are sensational. You can't knock of his numbers, but when you watch him... Um, I remember doing a game, just going off piece slightly, when he, I think it was Newcastle that he, that he played against. He was having a really poor game, and he was going for Hollywood passes here, there and everywhere. And he walked away with a penalty, and he walked away with an assist, and the assist was a shanked shot. <laughs> that he went for a finish, and he shanked it, and someone, I think it was Marcus Rashford, tapped it in. And then after the game, you're analysing and thinking, how can you have a go at him? Right. He's walked away with an assist and a goal. Right. But he leaves you a little bit like, there's more there for him. Yeah. Yeah. Portugal uh, historically start tournaments, they haven't, they've won 3-0. Yeah. But they start tournaments in terms of their performance, generally a little bit slowly, that's the way they, they have been. Uh, but if you look at their bench, it's strong. There was yeah. no Joe Cancelo as well, I believe, did he get, I think he, was, he got a COVID issue. Yeah, he's been sent yeah. home, yeah. He's been sent home, so yeah. that's a blow because not only is he a brilliant player, he's, a, he's, a, he's almost like another midfielder for you, another winger, because yep. he's so talented going forward. But yeah, they're going to be a threat. They're going to be a threat to Germany and they potentially are going to be a threat all the way through. I mean, they're not, they're not as good as France, obviously, but when you look at the squad that Santos has, it, it's going to be combative, at least. Yeah. Uh, it feels foolish to say, but kind of a quiet day for Cristiano Ronaldo until the two goals? Well, it was a quiet day, I think, in general, because, I mean, you, you have to understand what Hungary are trying to do in this group. They know if they're expansive and open up, they're going to get smashed by all three of these teams. So they have to be pessimistic. And, and again, with there's no space to run into, there's a bunch of players. It has to be super tricky combinations. But then in the end, look, Ronaldo gets a penalty, gets a great move in the end, makes sure he separates himself from the rest of his teammates yeah. so everybody can see what he did. <laughs> And it's the Ronaldo show. Yeah. <laughs> he has uh, separated himself. He's 36 now and he scores a goal and he's involved never. And what do you want him to do? No. I, do you want him to run about with other players <laughs> on his shoulders? Uh, here's what he accomplished today. Now 11 goals uh, all time in European championships. Nobody has scored more. He came in uh, even with Michel Platini. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.